and dear friends, I'm here to talk about uh, systems intelligence, a concept that uh, Ram Hamelan and me introduced in 2004 and have been researching with uh, Juha Törmen and, and, and uh, others um, as a way to articulate, as a way to uh, explicate a key competence that we have as human beings as we orient ourselves through action to uh, situations, to uh, surroundings, uh, to systems. That being a concept that names a whole. So uh, systems intelligence is about uh, intelligence within holes, success within holes. That being a capability that clearly as human beings we do have. And uh, according to our analysis, boils down to eight key aspects. First of all, if you think about uh, succeeding within uh, a family, succeeding within uh, a dialogue, succeeding through a winter, clearly you need to respond effectively to what happens. So uh, effective responsiveness is uh, one factor. At the same time, you need to attune, connect with, often with uh, ways that uh, don't come to conscious surface, with uh, other parties involved. So it could be in your infancy. It was your ability to attune with your mother that built a foundation for your growth at the age of uh, two months old or two weeks old or two years old, all the way up till the present moment when uh, instinctively you attune. But at the same time, we need to figure out what the dynamism is in the context in which we try to act intelligently. So, uh, ability to perceive the dynamism is relevant, to figure out what's going on, to see the big picture and the detail at the same time. That's uh, systemic perception. Also, uh, often when we uh, are involved with holes, we are involved in those holes with other people, other parties, could be uh, 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 groups of people, could be some organizational entities. But one's ability to engage positively, constructively, with those other parties of that whole is part of uh, what's part of your systems, in systems intelligence. That's what we call positive engagement. Also, uh, your uh, ability to maintain a particular kind of attitude. Attitude being something that points beyond what you actually only know. Is what keeps your uh, momentum forward, is what, what keeps you going. So, uh, certain positive attitude certainly is needed if you want to succeed in holes. Uh, also, your ability not to uh, blame others systemically for whatever might happen uh, will be beneficial. So, uh, attitude, uh, another key factor, as is uh, your ability to maintain the time axis in your mind, because some good things take time. Now, as some things that are good, that are beneficial, that pave the way for successful action, take time, you need to comprehend the immediate situation from, from that perspective. So your action needs to be wise, 
there needs to be that kind of understanding that points beyond the immediate situation. So that clearly is different from, for instance, your uh, ability to act immediately in some way or another. So uh, wise action. An another key uh, uh, parameter. But at the same time, in the immediate situation, the way you do react, the way you do respond, reflects some of those possibilities that you have perhaps thought out as ideas beforehand. So uh, spirit the discovery, the kind of uh, idea making, the, 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 ki the kind of uh, playfulness that, that, that creates possibilities even before those possibilities might be relevant is, uh, is, is quite a different perspective to success within holes than any of those I've uh, so far mentioned. So uh, we call this uh, spirited discovery. It's, uh, uh, it, it, it's, it's also uh, something where uh, if, if you push the case to the, I would say, uh, to, 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 to its uh, hardest core, us as human beings come to the forefront. This being, of course, something that very often in systems discourse, we de facto avoid because very often in systems discourse the tendency is to look systems from outside and, and you model, you map, you represent the system that you are in, interested in uh, from outside and, and uh, of course uh, we have developed a tremendous uh, techniques for doing that, but in actual life we are within systems. That was your system, that was your situation. When you were two weeks old, you were already part of a system. And as a human being, you had the capabilities of uh, not only surviving, but acting in a way that uh, created growth. So you were part of your own growth in your infancy, that being a key point of uh, infancy research, the, the intelligence of uh, human infants. But it's uh, the kind of uh, intelligence where the intelligence doesn't come out of, from outside, observing something first and then coming up with something intelligent. But it's something that uh, operates from within in the emerging situation uh, where life takes place without you knowing what the dynamism is, knowing in the objective sense of the world. So what we, tried, what we have tried to do with our systems intelligence perspective is to try to conceptualize the inherently human capabilities of acting intelligently within systems even when you don't know what the system is. And uh, the eight uh, parameters that I've mentioned, uh, effective action, systemic perception, att attunement, uh, spirit discovery, wise action, uh, uh, at attitude, uh, positive engagement, and uh, reflection, the hardest of them all, where you uh, relate to yourself as this kind of uh, creature with uh, sensibilities, only some of which boil down to uh, objective, cognitive, from outside kind of uh, way of thinking. That's a systems intelligence. That's uh, the capability that we all have. And that's something that we will need more in the future as the systems that we have ourselves created are so complex. And uh, still we live within them and should live intelligently.